So, as you'd imagine, we found uh, quite a few items from the Roman period, lots of pottery, um, very small items, um, and this is one that's just come out of the ground. This is uh, called a ligula, um, and it's actually an ear cleaning device. Basically, put it in, scrape the wax out, um, and uh, you can hear properly again. So these are some medieval floor tiles. Um, as uh, you, you know, we found um, an in, in situ uh, floor surface inside the abbey, um, but these are actually slightly later. These are, I believe, these are from the um, early 15th century. Um, so this is probably from another part of the abbey. Um, and um, this is the arms of King Edgar, I believe. And uh, this was actually invented by um, the later medieval people, because um, when King Edgar was around, they didn't have arms, uh, but they decided that since he was a king he needed a set of arms, so they invented this one for him. Well that, that's uh, an early tribute to the fact then that the first king of all England was actually crowned in a church on this side. Absolutely, they, they were obviously well aware of this and um, made, made, a, made a thing of it. So this uh, rather delightful bit of sculpture um, was found in some um, 18th century rubble underneath uh, Abbey Chambers. This we've had dated to probably the late 15th or very early 16th century um, and it's a very very fine piece of work. Um, given where it was found we think this might have been decorating uh, somewhere within the cloistral ranges um, and it's probably part of a, a late medieval refurbishment. That's likely to have been the work of stonemasons from elsewhere. Possibly, yes. I mean, the, the, the quality of workmanship is incredible. Um, this is the sort of thing you, you find on the continent, um, so it, it may well have been um, travelling uh, masons were, were here doing work for the, uh, the church at the time. Do you have any idea who that person is, or is it just an image? I suspect it's probably an angel. Um, and one of the suggestions we've had made is that it's, um, it's a, a moulding from a, um, a, a window or door surround um, where you'd have a sort of hood moulding around to stop the rain getting on the window and this would be at the bottom. This rather nice little bowl um, which we found in amongst some, some black sludge in an um, uh, 18th century uh, sewer that we found um, and it's got the name Simpson written on it. The, uh, the, S, the second S there looks rather like an F but that was the uh, style of writing at the time. And we think this is probably from Simpson's Rooms, uh, which is better known as the Lower Assembly Rooms, and, uh, which was built before the, uh, the, uh, the Upper Rooms. How do you think that ended up here? Well, I suspect it's similar to um, people wandering off with a pint glass after a, a night out. It's, they got some take, uh, a take out from the uh, rooms and took it back to the, uh, their house and it never made its way back. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any other examples of this, so this is a really nice link to uh, the, uh, the bath at the height of its um, existence as a spa town. This is a, a tankard, beer tankard, uh, which has the words R.M. Lovett, Beefsteak Tavern Bath. Um, and this was a pub that was used to be just opposite the abbey, and we found this in amongst the rubble from um, Scott's refurbishment in the 1860s. So I think this is probably a, a workman's um, lunchtime takeout that got smashed and uh, dumped in with the rubble. Um, this, I think the Beefsteak Tavern um, was, it was still extant in the 20th century, but was uh, not knocked down in the middle of the 20th century. But we know, we know from where we found this, this is a little bit earlier. The people of Bath, I understand, Kai, are going to get a chance to uh, see these and probably other artefacts and hear more about them uh, at a talk you're giving at the BRSLI. Uh, can you tell me a little about that? Yes, yeah, so I'll be doing a talk for the Bath and County Archaeological Society um, on Thursday. Um, at 7 o'clock I believe, 7.30 rather, um, where we'll have a, a sort of whistle -top stop tour through uh, what we've found to date um, and where, what else we're hoping to find as the project goes along.